So the first two things I found at Hobby Lobby, they were having a really great sale, is these tubes of washi tape. And if you see, they're, they were originally $20, and I got them for five, and no, I did not need more washi tape, but I couldn't resist getting these. So I was really excited. Um, I really just love all the colors. They're very bright, and I think I'll use them a lot in my bullet journal. But I really liked this one, and this one I thought was really different. Oh yeah, and this one. These three were the main reason I bought the tube. So yay, I've got way too many tubes of washi tape now. So this is the other one I found for $5. They had actually a ton more. They're pretty much all gone now, because um, I went back just to see, and they went fast. So I also like light pink and like this teal color. That's what it is, it's teal, right? I think. I've already used this in my last bullet journal spread that I did. Wow, I don't think I'm very good at these haul videos. I'm just like, there, there, see? See what I got? Ah. <laughs> the other thing, ah, I'm so excited, is I got this stamp. It was originally $12. I got it for $3, so let's just take the tag off. That's not very uh, attractive. I just thought it was really pretty. It's got a little um, cactus inside of the little terrarium. I also got a couple other stamps. Um, I got this beautiful uh, dandelion flower and this bicycle with the heart and I've used both of them. What else do you say about things you buy and show people on your haul videos? Um, not really sure. This is not part of the haul. I didn't buy this at Hobby Lobby, but my sister got me this for my birthday and I haven't actually got to use it. So I thought I would get it out. Um, it's by Sashiko Umoto, I think is how you say her name. And she draws, I have another book by her and it's just the cutest little um, uh, characters and drawings and doodles. And I love to doodle and these look, these look easy enough for me. So I can't wait to try some of the little animals. See the little kitty, they're so cute. Yeah, so, oh, a whale. So lots of fun animals in here. I don't wanna show you the whole book. Um, I don't think that's, I don't think you're supposed to do that. So now that you know what I went out and spent my money on, I thought it would be fun to create a little bullet journal spread with some of the animals from the book and then of course the washi tape. And I'm gonna use the succulent stamp as well. I decided to draw the little penguin from the Umoto drawing book. And I think he's kind of cute. He's just sitting there, hanging out, saying hello. I'm using my Copic markers to do some of the details and what I love about this Arch and Olive bullet journal is my Copic markers 
I don't think they bleed through to the other side. Actually, you know, I didn't check to see if they do. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I'll have to look at that and see. Did they? Mm, there's a little bit of bleeding through on the other side when you use Copic markers in this Archer and Olive bullet journal, but it's not too bad. I have been practicing my handwriting quite a lot and I don't know, I'm actually okay with it in this journal. Normally I just don't like it, but I show you guys anyway, but this turned out okay, I think. And then I chose the little koala there, if you're not sure what that is. <laughs> kind of looks like a mouse, but it is, I think, the koala bear from the book. And yeah. And that's it. That's the end. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have to work on my haul video skills, or at least learn what to say in them. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.